All right, guys, what's up? It's Tim, and in today's video, you are going to be seeing some Black Ops 3 gameplay, and this is fresh Black Ops 3 gameplay, but I have to be honest with you, got to be straight up front with you. Before the intro even kicks off, this gameplay is rough. Here we go. All right, so now that you guys are back, uh, welcome to the channel. My name is Tim, and uh, yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Black Ops 3 in the year 2020. This seems to be a pretty prevalent uh, topic, mostly because I feel like people just don't like Modern Warfare, right? If you liked Modern Warfare, would you be that excited about the year 2020 and you know excited about going back into uh, older games? Like, I, I feel like you wouldn't be, right? If you liked the current game, you wouldn't even think about going back to uh, something as old as this. So with that being said, I do think uh, that this game is is fun, uh, but the issues with this game, as you can tell from the title most likely, is that people are cheating. People are cheating in freaking Black Ops 3, who cares about this game anymore? Um, it's, it's really sad. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna see just how in a little bit I am gonna show you. Basically, I'm gonna tell you right now how people are cheating. They're using all the perks and a gun with all of the attachments. So uh, if you didn't know, Black Ops 3 is another pick 10 system. Uh, so you can use, you know, whatever you want in terms of primary, secondary, lethal, tactical, perks, attachments, all that good stuff. And it's got a total 10 slots, 10 total slots. And so we actually haven't seen a pick 10 system in, in quite a while. I think Black Ops 4 might have been it. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, yes, it probably was, but I don't know. Was it 10? Maybe it was 13. I don't know. I, mean, I think Advanced Warfare was 13, actually. Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it, Black Ops 4 was most likely the last pick 10 system, but Black Ops 3, I feel like, did it right. Uh, a lot of the perks were much more balanced, right? You got, you got like fast hands, you got scavenger to compete with it, you got dead silence and blast suppressor. So a lot of the things were uh, similarly balanced. And you can tell here, I, I kind of get wrecked here and there in the gameplay. Uh, there's a lot of sweats for some reason in this free-for-all game. I did not expect it. And near the end of the game, people start like dipping. People start just not caring about the game anymore. And uh, I guess I don't really blame them because maybe they noticed. But yeah, one guy in here is big cheating. He is using so many perks, so many attachments. Uh, and, and it, you know, that's why I feel like I got melted a lot of the times. Uh, granted, I did not, you know, die every single time to the same dude, but it is very infuriating to just, you know, go back to this game, try to have some fun, relive some old memories, and people like this are just ruining it for like no reason. Like, how do you have fun cheating? It's, it's, I, I don't understand the mind of a cheater. Even if you're winning, you're supposed to win. Like, there's no challenge in this anymore, right? Like, you're not supposed to lose to someone who's uh, playing fairly. If you do, it just makes you look even worse. I feel like cheaters have this, this like, huge, like, inferiority complex to where, like, they feel so insignificant. But yeah, I feel like cheaters have this huge, like, insecurity in which, like, oh, if I lose, I'm going to be a loser, so I, I have to do whatever it takes to win. No, okay, doing whatever it takes to win makes you an even bigger loser than if you were just going to lose in general. Uh, and I feel like cheaters just don't get that. And I feel like a lot of people just in life don't get that, right? Like people who try to get ahead in life, people who try to like scam people for money, people who try to just like take shortcuts uh, on YouTube and things like that. They, they just want to do whatever it takes. They don't want to put in the grind. They don't want to put in the effort. And that's what I really appreciate about a lot of my friends on YouTube who are out here grinding, you know, under a thousand, under 2000 subscribers. You guys, you know, if your guys are watching this, you guys are like doing YouTube right. You know, you're not doing stupid fake giveaways ways uh clickbait videos stretching the videos to like 10 minutes when it's really like two minutes worth of content and and while i'm talking about stretching videos uh, i have been accused of it I, and yes it's no surprise i do try to aim for 10 minutes for most of my videos i mean that's just how the algorithm rewards you it's not my choice really but when it comes to it i don't really want to bs you guys in terms of like hey there's a blank screen for six minutes uh enjoy like no i'm not trying to do that right but if it, it gets if it gets to like eight to nine minutes like yeah I'm, I'm gonna fill in some filler time okay i'm not gonna i'm still gonna talk during it and of course it might not be super useful but i'm, I'm gonna talk during it as my channel is how i want to run things with all that being said let's get back into black ops 3. uh why black ops 3 is being so talked about now is because it's um, obviously a jetpack game. It's probably the best jetpack game that we've seen in Call of Duty. Um, but you know, regardless of that, I think the maps, honestly, 
ever since playing um, um, what's it called Modern Warfare, I feel like Black Ops Three maps, Black Ops Four maps. I've <laughs> I have such a huge appreciation for them uh, in terms of how they just don't promote camping. You know what I mean? Like it's it's really. I don't know if it's easier to make a map that promotes camping or doesn't promote camping because I personally feel like it it's easier to make one that does not promote camping so um, you know you just kind of have everything lit up you kind of have open spaces right you don't want to have safe spaces like certain other Call of Duty titles seem to want to have uh, but yeah I, I feel like you know you see in this uh, in this map in particular I'm traversing so much uh, there's not really dark corners you know if there's a building it's it, it makes sense to be there it's not like there's buildings every everywhere uh, all the doors are open there's no reason to have closed doors in my opinion um, you know I could make a whole video about modern warfare doors modern doorfare <laughs> but uh, that, that's I don't know I, I don't know what they were thinking like I, I get that they wanted to slow it down we have had you know, uh, pretty fast games for Call of Duty, and I feel like Modern Warfare 2, even Modern Warfare 3 to a little bit, were like slower-ish games. I feel like Treyarch games are generally more fast, uh, three-laned, you know, fast-paced, uh, SMG-friendly, shotgun-friendly even. Uh, and so that's fine, I guess, right? Like, you don't want to have a fast-paced game every single year, from Black Ops 4, fast-paced, into Modern Warfare, fast-paced, into Black Ops 5, fast-paced, right? You know what I mean? Like, that would just be uh, kind of annoying. Uh, for people who just really wanted to camp, really wanted to slow it down. And I know camping seems to be in the minority, but you know, if you take away like the Reddit people, the YouTube people, there's a lot of people who don't mind camping. Even still, uh, Black Ops 3 doesn't seem to be a huge camper friendly game. Uh, comparatively, I think all the Black Ops games honestly have a pretty low camper rate in comparison to Infinity Ward games. And I don't know where we are in the gameplay exactly, I kind of lost it, but somewhere around here I do show the scoreboard and there's like four people left, so the gameplay is going to get much slower here. And as you can tell, uh, probably from now, yeah, I'm not going to end up first in this game. Um, I don't know, I don't actually don't remember if, if the cheater ends up in first or not, but uh, someone is better than me in this free-for-all lobby. This is probably one of my first games back on Black Ops 3, so I am getting used to all the jetpack movement and stuff like that. Getting back used to the spawns, because I remember playing this game so much in free-for-all that I would, you know, know all the spawns and everything. Um, not so much anymore. Yeah, I don't remember the spawns, but um, tr yeah, Treyarch, Black Ops 3, this game is now infested with, uh, with cheaters, and um, I feel like this is a very light case of cheating, right? Like just using a bunch of perks and attachments, that's like light. There's people who, who use like, I don't know, like infinite guns, like just do whatever they want. Um, and I feel like it's, it's gonna be sad. Black Ops 3 is iconic. It's, it's one of the best, uh, you know, best Treyarch games that they've made. I'd argue it's better than, uh, it's, an, it's not the worst Black Ops game, I'd argue. It's probably either second or third best. Um, I, I think Black Ops 2 is definitely the first best. I don't know about Black Ops 1. I did not get to play that in its prime. Um, I know a lot of people think that that is the best, but hey, I didn't get to play in its prime. Maybe I'll get to play it a lot more when uh, the PS5 is backwards compatible and I get to play uh, on the PS3 version of Black Ops 1. But in that case, I'd probably just go back to Black Ops 2 because that's definitely my favorite game. But let me know what your favorite Call of Duty game is in the comments section down below. But hey, with all that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed this this throwback gameplay. This is a new gameplay. This is not you know something stored on my hard drive. Uh, this is Black Ops 3 now. You know this is this is cheaters. This is uh, people not people leaving the lobbies. People just knowing the spawns. People aren't aren't noobs anymore in Call of Duty, and I think that's something we have to get used to. And so as you can tell here, uh, now that the uh, the game is wrapping up. We only have three people left as I get killed by this Tempest, and uh, I get 20 kills, which is pretty bad, right? Not really gameplay worthy, but uh, for the sake of Black Ops 3, I just wanted to post something interesting. I think a lot of people are posting like just amazing Black Ops 3 gameplays. I want to post something interesting, you know? Hey, guess what? There's a cheater here. So <laughs> that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video of mine, whatever that will be. And uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.